Hi, I'm Olajide Paris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a macro in Cubase. This macro is going to very quickly insert cycle markers and navigate to the next audio region. First of all, we need to add a marker track, which we'll do by clicking on this plus button over here. And under the add track menu, we will choose marker as the track and add track. Next, we come up here to the divide track list and the marker track will go up there. It's just a very good thing to separate marker tracks from audio tracks and virtual instruments. Next, we need to make sure that insert cycle marker is set up as a key command. So we'll go to edit key commands and in the search field, we'll type in insert cycle marker, enter to search, um, and we can see that it's already assigned to command shift M. If it was not assigned, I would simply type in the key combination that I wanted and then click assign. So I'm going to press OK and remember that that command is command shift M. Before I assign a macro, I want to manually test my combination to make sure that everything works as expected. So the first thing that I'm going to do is locators to selection. So I'm going to select this audio here locators to selection, go to the left locator, which is a key command, insert cycle marker, which remember is shift command M and navigate right. So those are all the steps that we want in our macro. Now that we know they work manually, we can set up a macro for them. To set up the macro, we'll open up the key commands menu again from the edit menu. And this section down here is for macros, but if it's not shown, you'll have to click on this thing here that says show macros. Now to create a new macro, you simply press new and then you type in the name of your macro. I've already created the macro, so you can see it here. It is create cycle region, and you can see that all of the steps are there. Locators to selection, go to left locator, insert cycle marker, and navigate right. And the way that new steps are added to a macro are simply by finding them in the search field or selecting them and then pressing add. Now, once all of the steps are in there, if they're out of order, you simply can use these command buttons here to move them up, down, or even to remove steps that aren't um, supposed to be there. So to take things to the next level, what you can actually do is assign a key command to the macro. And the way that you do that is by up in the search field, you type in macro, and you get a subcategory of key commands called macros. And here I have create cycle region as command option M. So if I were to have this audio selected here and I did command option M, it runs my macro and it creates that cycle region and selects the next audio region. So I hope that was helpful. That's how you create a macro in Cubase.